Monty Moffness has been wearing two hats since he took an offer with the Calvo administration. As the Chamorro Land Trust Administrative Director and the Land Management Director, Moffness took the hot seat before lawmakers as they grilled him on his salary and the reorganization of the agencies. I think the Land Management and the Chamorro Land Trust should, should share the cost in that one individual, although I also believe that that one individual holding these several hats um, serves a great benefit. Commissioner Michael Borja defended Moffness's salary while Commissioner Amanda Santis was the only one who disagreed with Moffness holding dual roles. I think he doesn't have enough time. And he, this is a stressful job and it should concentrate on one only. I think that in particular with the Chamorro Land Trust, because these are monies that are coming from uh, the members of the trust that you have a fiduciary responsibility is to protect those monies. And you can't just arbitrarily make a decision to say we're going to use it to pay for a salary who, of an individual. Lawmakers, meanwhile, were also critical about the reorganization and consolidation of the agencies. Speaker Judy Wampat saying no bill was presented to lawmakers outlining a plan, a budget, or detailed responsibilities. I love what I'm doing. And I just want to say that uh, I apologize if that was the proper route to take. I'm just a good uh, soldier following my, uh, the captain, uh, the, the governor of Guam. And he said, this is how it's going to be. So I'm a good soldier. That's what it's going to be. Since Moffness has taken over, the CLTC has recovered close to $1 million in back rent owed by various businesses and individuals using CLTC property. While he isn't sure whether he'll garner enough support to be confirmed by lawmakers, Moffness said he would forge ahead and ask lawmakers to give the agencies the necessary resources to begin registering government land and approximately 200 lots that have yet to be completely identified. To be honest with you, Senator, the answer to that 104 lots is we're not ready. Okay. Department of Land Management used to have 150 employees. Today, we have 45. We are at 30% capacity, just like everybody else, but I don't think anybody else is at 30%. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.